Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Trumpet Tip Tuesday. I'm with Per Iverson. We are in Gothenburg in the Gothenburg Hall. This is the first time I'm recording in a hall. And thanks uh, to, to Per, I almost said your last name first. <laughs> um, uh, I reached out to him on his Instagram and he shares it with Axel Hurstet. I cannot say it. Um, the Swedish names are kind of giving me trouble, just like in Spain. <laughs> but um, I reached out to them on Instagram, and he replied, and we set up this day of we just been talking trumpet all day and about our ideas and his career and uh, just all things trumpet today. So it's been a great day. And so one of the things we talked about today was taking simple exercises and making them really good. Because like I talked about and Bert uh, talked about in the stamp video, um, I think that was last week, uh, it was very common for younger students to just go through these ep exercises. And we talked about stamp as well. Um, so if you can give us a little bit of your experience um, studying with uh, Hakan Hardenberger and how he changed your mindset. Yeah, um, <clears throat> well, the first thing I, um... I realized when I when I came out of his um, lessons were that uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff really wrong uh, in my life. I've been doing just as you you did in that video with the uh, Bert, mm -hmm. uh, the stamp. I've been doing. Oh great! Oh, I feel warmed up. But that's not the exercise. Maybe it maybe if somehow it that will be good for like warming up the lips. But it's not what it's about. Um, and that's, that's a lot of the stuff that uh, Hogan uh, um, explained to me uh, through, throughout different uh, exercises that you have to play them in a, in a certain way to get, to get the most out of it or to get out of it what, what, what it's actually about. For example, and we did a lot of uh, Clark uh, exercises, um, the first one, especially the first one, mm -hmm. and making, making it sound like... Uh, like all the like all the notes are are, are the same, um, and not not just a, a fast uh, ex or it's, it's not just a fingering exercise mm -hmm. a, or a technique exercise. It's just like also more finding sound, finding uh, centering the sound, and finding a, 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 a like a focus uh, in your trumpet playing. Mm -hmm. At all, and uh, so we, we started out. That was the first thing we we did. I asked him to to show me basics, um, and the way and and how he approaches basics and how he does his um, routines. And he showed me a couple of stuff. And um, with the Clark, for example, the first one we did exactly as it says in the book: start pianissimo, play play everything very soft, but try to find great sound and very uh, uh, very centered uh, sound on, on every note of it. So I started, when, before I was with him, I just, I'd also just played the, yeah, sorry. You know, no, I was just gonna say, I just wanted to clarify for the viewers that you, um, right now you're, you have the position, a solo trumpet with yeah. the Gothenburg uh, Symphony, and before that you were playing in Malmo. Yeah. And is there, one more or no no that's the two jobs yeah, those, those two. <laughs> yeah yeah and you said you were doing things wrong but yeah but you i mean there's we're trumpet players and we're musicians so we're always yeah. learning and it's great that you're taking this you took this class with hakan mm. um even though you've had these symphony position you're mm. trying to get better yeah. and so uh again we're, we talked about the what we're about to talk about is just how to get better even though even if you think you're at the top how to get past, yeah. past that. Yeah, exactly. No, but I, I, I had done that. I have practiced Clark almost all my life, like, mm -hmm. like, like all of us. Um, but at the first exercise, I'd just been going through and... Oh, great, fast. Oh, it's, oh, it's good. It feels good mm -hmm. on the lips. Instead of really focusing, wow, the, this note, the first note, should sound exactly like the, the, the top note and the, the note before the top note, and the note after the first note. And not 
not skipping one of one of the notes. Just sound, making the first and the last note sound great. Make everything sound great. Focus every every note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make them perfect in 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 the center of the mouthpiece, center in the trumpet. Yeah, when we worked earlier today, I had my shot up at it, and there were some notes where I, if I really focus, I could really hear the ones that were sticking out. Yeah. For example, if something like that happened, yeah. then go back. slowly increase it to where everything is right in the dead center. Exactly. And it also has a lot to do with finding the, the uh, intonation on, mm -hmm. on it. And if you find the intonation and the right, right amount of air exactly where it is, then, then you have a center note, mm -hmm. I think. And then, then you play the trumpet the way a trumpet is supposed to sound. Mm -hmm. You fill the whole instrument with air. Um, and then, then you just... then. I, th I think when, when you do it like that, you can really hear the difference from going just playing notes and the really playing notes with 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 your mind, and really being being present yeah. in it. Not falling down or or falling up. They're quite close to each other, just half steps and just a big fourth, mm -hmm. <laughs> or what is called tritonus, yeah. from the F sharp to the, to the C. So it's not a big interval at all. So we don't have to change so many stuff here. We just have to keep a steady airflow and, and uh, like our mind yeah. should be straight on it. Yeah, we, I mean, growing up, we always hear slow practices, the right way to exactly. practice. But I think the missing component is also being engaged mentally um, during that slow practice. Because you can also practice slow and yeah. it, it, if you're not thinking like everything, yeah. like the right sound, the right, um, having all the notes slotted, then it's mm -hmm. not going to help you in the long run. No. So when, you, when you're teaching students or you have, um, you're giving lessons, now that you've gone through this class with Hakan, how do you um, encourage them to actually spend the time doing this really tedious and focused practice? And like you said before, like you can teach them, but you you can't make them do it. So how yeah. do you, how do you do that for your well, students? Well, it's 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 both difficult and and actually. Uh, quite easy at the same time because it's difficult to tell someone hey if you want to be really good at trumpet you have to practice uh, more you have to practice uh, more discipline and and and, and like d practice hard yeah oh, okay well that's oh thanks for the tip oh great <laughs> but when when I, when I have a lesson with someone and 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 we try these things mm -hmm. if if we if we go through the um, an orchestral excerpt or something and they a student plays it, and I said, okay, let's focus on every note once. For example, the pictures. If they, if they, if they can, f if you can feel it, like, wow, this is really centered. I, I sound so different. I sound much bigger, and it, it doesn't take any energy from me. It doesn't take any effort. That's that's a trigger for the student to really be uh, uh, like, oh, I want to work with this. Mm -hmm. I want to do this. So it's quite easy if if you just make them play it in a lesson. Yeah. If you if if you can um, bring it out in a student to 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 understand it within an hour or two hours or something then it will be quite easy for the student later to um, practice this because it's not difficult things it's not it's not groundbreaking or something it's it's like what we always heard you said about s slow practicing mm -hmm. uh, we have always heard okay when you play the trumpet you need to blow <gasps> and you have to play i mean you have to play in the center of the of the note mm -hmm. okay that's what we always heard but but it's it's true, <laughs> and um, when we become 
accustomed to a situation that we, I, for, uh, I tend to just ah, let go on everything and and do the Clark mm -hmm. instead of. Uh, but in this way, when I've heard when I heard myself really sound great, mm -hmm. <laughs> then I, I want to keep going in that way. Mm -hmm. And I think most most students who who um, who experience this, yeah. they keep on going that and, and get put in harder work. Mm -hmm. I I guess from my experience, just working with you this morning, yeah. um, just going through the Clark one slowly, and I've done it like for years, but really going through it uh, slowly and having that sensation of, oh, each note is actually yeah. clicking and it's like you're playing a piano and it sounds like that. I think that's also what, you, what you're saying is giving the student um, that sensation that, wow, it's actually really different than just going, That sensation is so much better than just yeah. like being loosey with the exactly the, the yeah. fingers and the the air and everything. Mm. So, but then you can you can you can put this work into everything you play. Of course, mm -hmm. I mean the in the orchestra or in a solo piece or even in an etude or a, or any other exercise. It's 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 not just for the Clark. It's yeah, a, it's like it, it's the way of playing for for me. Mm -hmm. The way of playing trumpet in in. Uh, in a good, correct way. Well, we played a little bit of Honiger uh, in Trada before, and it, it's just, it just works there too. If you just go through the beginning without thinking, with just, with just the destination, it might work also, mm -hmm. it might sound fantastic. Uh, but when you start digging and really finding, ah, this note has to connect with the next note and next note with the next one, then it makes, for me, a little bit more sense because I sound, I try to sound fantastic all the time. Mm -hmm. Instead of going... Sound, every note sounds different right. when I go to this. Instead of being, well, we talked about these three components, articulation, air, and focus. When we use all three, they, they, they have a perfect note the way a trumpet should sound. Mm -hmm. in, in my ears, <laughs> uh, at least. And I think, I think most teachers and most professors, most players have this approach. But um, what I... But... but Many people don't put words on it. Mm -hmm. uh, at least I said, said before I, I I did it wrong all my life yeah. because I've never I never reflected over think th stopping and saying okay why do I play this note like this why do I play this note different and they, no play it all the same and then you will sound great and then you can play anything with mm -hmm. almost without any effort mm -hmm. also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's important, and you can not only do it with Clark, like you said, but take any exercise that you've been doing in your routine, but really just slow it down and really focus on each note. Yeah. And I think that's like the way to progress um, this way. Definitely. So. What I what I learned from from when I was with uh, Hokan uh, was also that slowing it down and really spending time with every note. You have to feel that every note is worth exactly as much as the first one or the, sec or the third one or the fourth one or the fifth hundred one. Everything, everything you play has to, it doesn't have to mean anything, but it has to, has to have a value. You cannot just skip, skip a note. Mm -hmm. um, if you play, well, you can take anything. Any exercise in an uh, excerpt, like, uh, like we said, has, has a special meaning. Yeah, yeah. great. Um, so uh, thanks for coming on the show Thank today. You. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, you can find 
uh, pair and Axel on Instagram at Trumpet Tips. Yes. That's it. At Trumpet Tips. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but uh, they're really cool. Uh, two really cool guys um, from Scandinavia that are really open to like helping trumpet players. And now they're talking about, um, or you get a lot of messages from, yeah. from students and players. And so if you want to reach out to them, go follow their page. They have a lot of really good things to say. So I think that's it for today. Yeah, thanks, man. So, thanks for coming. Thanks. Great. Uh, so next week, I think we're going to have um, Jordi Albert. I think I'm going to finish editing that video, actually. And it's really interesting. He talks about playing with braces. And so that's going to be interesting. So I'll see you guys next week on Trumpet, Trumpet Tip Tuesday. <laughs> see you. See you.